Hey guys, so I got home today and I checked my mail and I had a surprise that I was not expecting. And I would love to say first of all, thank you to Masam, the owner of Dua Fragrances. I had ordered uh, the Belgian Choco Truffle. And I have, this is a true unboxing. I have not even opened these. But I was sent two boxes. So we're going to see what's in these boxes. Um, and I'm going to give you... Um, I, I knew I was going to get some samples. But this is a little heavy. So I just wanted to share the opening with you guys. Um, and I'm going to give you my first impression. What I really think. And if I can remember... I'll put them in order, like I usually do, like, of what I like. Um, I can tell you right now, no matter what's in here, Belgian chocolate truffle is probably my favorite. But, you know, not everybody likes chocolate. So, just like I had said in my last video, that pear note, pear note, some of you guys may love it. It's just not my thing. Okay, so, this is the first box. And I've got their website pulled up, so whatever's in here, um, I'm going to try to read you the notes and do the best I can. Wow. Um, okay, so inside this first one, we have three full-size bottles. They're wrapped really good, too. Every time I get stuff from them, even the samples. <laughs> I think Mike said it was a sleeping bag wrap. That was funny. And I still have my samples. They last a good while. So I'm going to link the sample website below as long as, as, as um, well as, <laughs> as well as their website. <laughs> this tickles me. Pop cherry. Okay, see, I had read about this one. All right. I'm not, I haven't smelled it. Don't know what it smells like. I've got it pulled up right here. Pop cherry. Okay. Inspired. Hold on. Whoa. Inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which I have not smelled. Leave it to Tom Ford to pioneer the salacious genre which comes to his scents and their names. What started as subtle imitations buried behind the fragrances inspirations has evolved into obvious namings. I can't see. It's my fault. I can't see good. Boldly proclaimed on each respective label. One need not have the most discerning imagination to speculate where Lost Cherry came from. As if we weren't obvious, as if it weren't obvious enough, we've decided to be a bit less euph <laughs> euphemic with our counterpart, Pop Cherry. Like an explosive burst cherry bleeds all over the bitter almond heart before settling on a base of roasted tonka bean and sultry sandalwood. Oh my god, I love sandalwood. The epon eponym, oh, I don't know these words, you guys. I'm so sorry. From Y'all are fancy pants. From which our blend is inspired is aptly named as cherry is lost soon after initial application. To prolong the syrupy goodness exuding from the lassa vicious fruit. <laughs> That's not right. We have run multiple stability tests and infused Fixatives that prolong the life of the highly addictive opening. Unfortunately, all innocence is lost after spraying on this lustful blend that satisfies your most natural ingredients in the blend echo with the wearer on a most intimate level. Realistic cherry smell, check. Long-lasting opening, check. No compromise of the use of natural ingredients, check. The most accurate and affordable replica of this masterpiece by Tom Ford, check. Our job is done here. Very well written. I don't know that I will be able, I might be able to read all this um, on every one of these, but I'm going to try to do what I can and I apologize for the words I don't know how to pronounce. Classification is Oriental Floral. Notes, Black Cherry, Bitter Almond, Cherry Liqueur, Griot Syrup, Jasmine, Sambac, oh, Turkish Rose, oh, Peru Balsam, Haitian Vetiver, Cedarwood, Roasted Tonka, and Sandalwood. Oh my God. There's the bottle. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to spray it away from my nose. Give it a minute to settle. Oh, my gosh. 
and it's way where you see where it's at. It's this this one's um beast mode, I would say. I'm gonna fan it around a little bit. I probably shouldn't have sprayed so much. Wow. Okay, so for the the countries and, and states, because I know um, places like Indiana, you can't get this, but you can here. Oh, my God. This smells like cheer wine. For those of you that know what cheer wine is. With a little bit of, with a tiny touch of that oud background. I don't know what that is. Um... I don't know if it's the blend. I don't know if it's the liqueur, the almond that's causing that. But this is damn good. I get the rose in there. I, I don't know what the Peru Balsam's going to smell like. I get the vetiver. Cedarwood's taking a very, very back seat. Which is, to me, is good. I don't like a strong cedarwood. The Tonka is coming in, like bringing the sweetness in now. And I definitely smell the sandalwood. And I'm imagining that's going to be um, most of the dry down. I still smell, I, I see what they're saying in this. They're saying that the cherry slowly dissipates, but I still smell it. So, this is good. This is better than what I would have thought. Even when I read that the, the, the four new ones that he came out with, I don't know if they're in here. Um, this is better than I would have imagined. The only cherry fragrance that I can think right off the bat that I have is the Elizabeth Arden um, Green Tea Cherry. And I did not think I would like that one. And I freaking love it. This is not like that. This is deep. Nighttime, not that that matters, because you know I always say sex, doesn't matter. This is good. This is real good. Anybody that likes cherry, um, that's going to be your thing right there. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. I got to go back. Go back. I need to hurry up. <laughs> this is like Christmas. I wanted, to, I could have opened these and already had all this done, but I wanted to do a true unboxing because I actually never did with the stuff they sent me. Not a true one. Belgian taco truffle. This is, this is my order. This is what I ordered right here. Um, I, I don't want to spray this because I want to be able to smell the, I know what this smells like. And for any of you chocolate lovers, this is. One of the best chocolates. Oh, God, I want to spray it, but I don't want to mess up my nose right now. Uh, or not mess up my nose, but cloud it up. This is one of the best chocolate scents I've ever had. And I'm a huge fan of um, Montal Chocolate Greedy. I have um, others. I, I don't want to go into a whole lot of others because this, I want to focus on do I. But this is a great chocolate scent. Like, I want to smell like this every day of my life, but I'm not going to spray it yet. I may spray it towards the end if I still have some um, sensory going on. Because I already know what that smells like and I already told you guys what I thought about it in another video. So go check out my other videos that I've done um, and you'll see. But I actually ordered that. That was my order right there. And then they were going to send some samples, but they ended up sending these. Italiano inspired expression. All right. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Here it is. Oh, God. I remember <laughs> I remember the picture now that I see it on here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is a salty caramel. Holy cow. Inspired by Zerjoff. Casamirati Italica. Okay. Um, hold on a minute.
Okay, named after the Roman city, Italico is a new take on almond embodying a gourmand, gourmand persona preceded by other masterpieces in the line like Lyra and Dama Bianca. I'm probably just butchered that. Saffron. Oh my God, I love saffron. Saffron breaks apart the sweetness with its eastern disposition, relieving the fragrance from candy store comparisons. Milk and toffee interplay for a decadent sensation new fragrances few fragrances have achieved in the past precious woods holds a signature in the base and sustain the virility of the blend both refined and delicious italica wait a minute hello italico may be our new favorite in the lineup Okay, okay, because that, okay, so Zerjoff is Italico and this is Italiano. Gotcha, got confused a minute. I am blonde. Luckily, we were able to snatch a bottle during the recent trip to England when we first experienced the breadth and quality and extravagance a single bottle can hold. London natives, we bow our heads to you. First of all, let me tell you that this pop cherry is kicking over here, okay? <laughs> So what I'm going to do, okay, classification oriental woody notes, like tonic notes, vanilla, saffron, butter, toffee, almond oil, cedarwood, sandalwood, and white musk. Oh my God. Shake it up. I'm going to spray it over here and I'm going to spray one spray. This one, when I read the lineup um, of the new ones, which was, I want to, what was the new ones? Italiano, Pop Cherry. It was two more. I, and it's just because I've got too many things in my head right now. Um, when I saw the picture, and you can look at it on their website, it just looked, to me it looks like salted caramels, but it could be the salt and the toffee. Oh, heavens. Ooh. Okay, this is good. I'm going to spray another spray because it's not, I was afraid it was going to be one that was just going to be overkill. It's not. And it, and you can smell it. I'm just, I'm just spraying a little more. It, this is definitely a butter toffee scent. And I smell, I smell like a liqueur in this one. I smell liqueur in this one, but it's a different one. <laughs> and I smell it over here too. Okay, so I'm thinking... Um, butterscotch schnapps, schnapps, ever how you say that word. I smell the almond. I'm not getting the white musk yet. The white musk might come in on the dry down. Saffron. Oh my God. Who would have thought to put... Butter, toffee, and saffron together. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. And it's not um, something that's going to blow you away like Taboo, but I love Taboo. Like, I'll, if you if if I'm going to smell it, I want everybody to smell it, okay? Um, this is uh, medium strength. This is a stronger strength. Taboo tops them all. But this is not a weak scent. A few of those I had mentioned on the samples were rather weak, but that is what a lot of people like. I just happen to be one of those people that when I walk in the room, I want everybody to smell me. This is good. This is, um, what are they saying? The saffron breaks apart the sweetness. Okay, yeah. And I agree with that. It's almost like you're smelling a sweet and a saffron at the same time. And that is, that is amazing. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to try to, <laughs> I'm going to try to line these up in the, in the order that I like them. And this is going to be hard with these gourmands because, um, that's my thing. All right. So here's the other box. I noticed in a lot of videos where this happens to people when they get sent, especially full sizes that, um, they're like, thank you, you know, for sending me that. And, you know, and this is genuine. Like, I really, I really, really appreciate this. And a lot of people that, that know me know that I'm a very appreciative person. I'm a very giving person as well. And I think 
to understand one, you have to understand the other. And I really, really do appreciate these fragrances. And they will be loved. Let's see what this is. Oh my God, I think I know what this is. I think I just saw it. They're, they're wrapped like this. <laughs> and just for uh, reference, I'm not have one thing leak, fuss, or anything that they've sent me. Woo! Pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh. Let me back up. This was one of the new ones. It was Pop Cherry, Italiano, Pumpkin Spice, and there's still one more. Maybe there's more than one more now. It's like he's added something. Okay, um, something in my eyeball, as usual. Pumpkin Spice. Well, um, mm. I still smell the cherry in this one, and it's, it's toned down some. It's this, oh my gosh, I want to bite that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just reading the autumn warmth like a pumpkin latte. I, I'm going to brief this one because I think these are going to be too long. Coffee lover's fantasy. Like a scarf wrapped around your neck, the vanilla warmly binds around in a quart of coffee. Oh my God that conveys both the roasted profile of the bean as well as the rich pirouette, pirouettes <laughs> that rise from the freshly brewed cup after it's mixed with the richness of dairy. The seasonal spice conjures up sentiments of frolicking about in the backyard before being beckoned back inside, the, inside by the aroma of freshly baked cookies. Holy cow. See, I haven't read this. With every whiff, you'll be reminded of life's little pleasures that make us feel alive and in tune with everything that's good in this world. What's not to love about this time of year? Classification is a gourmand. The notes, pumpkin flesh, cream froth, CO2, nutmeg, cinnamon bark, allspice, lactonic notes, sugar cane, brewed espresso, sweetened whipped cream, Malterome, I don't know what that is. I will look it up or whatever. Vanilla bean, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I'm going to go in here and review these just so you guys know. There's no reviews for this one yet. I'm going to go on their website and um, post a review since they were kind enough to send me these. Let's go this way. Hand. If this smells like coffee, I may pass out. If this smells like the description I just read, I'm probably going to faint. Hmm. Okay, the first thing I get is spice. I'm going to spray one more spray. This is going to be a medium mode. It's not light. It's not, it's not as strong. I smell, I smell a lot of spice. I smell the nutmeg. I smell the cinnamon bark. I'm getting very little espresso. Now, that may be because that's going to come in when this cinnamon bark and allspice dries down because you guys know those are sharp notes. And the cream froth and the vanilla bean, tonka bean, sandalwood are going to be on the dry down. I can already tell you that. The, I know how these notes dry down. But the, my initial first thing I get is the spice. And the pumpkin's behind it. And we'll come back to it in a little bit on the dry down. Cherry's still kicking cherry to me. So far, the ones I've sprayed, um, this, uh, hold on a minute. I haven't sprayed that one yet. The um, Italiano is probably going to be my favorite so far. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That smells good. I don't know if it's going to beat my Belgian taco truffle though now. That, I'm going to have to fight over that one. <laughs> it's going to be very hard. Ugh. Okay. Vanilla Overload. 
Ooh. I think there are some new fragrances that I have not seen on here. Okay. Let's brief it. Inspired by Spiritualist Double the knee. That is Guerlain, if I'm not mistaken. When discussing Holy Grail notes and perfumes, the vanilla throne is undoubtedly occupied by Guerlain Spiritually Double Vanille. Pairing a most decadent vanilla with balsamic resins and incense that distinguish it apart from more confectionery counterparts was the way to go. This produces a long-lasting and dignified blend. I didn't Unique identity, not to be mistaken for anything less noteworthy in smell or quality. Our interpretation of this masterpiece is Guerlain, of Ger, by Guerlain, is called Vanilla Overload. Okay. Vanilla Overload is, or vanille, or vanille, ever how you want to say it. Overload is to be worn during occasions when you wish to smell both heavenly and delicious. On second thought, all occasions complement this beauty composition. I agree with that. Something like this, I would I would mix totally with anything. And it's probably going to be a good mix with my Belgian Taco Truffle is what I'm thinking. Vanilla lovers rejoice over this iconic creation by one of the most acclaimed perfumers of our time. If we're edible... If we're edible, we take a swig. I may do it anyway. Um, Woody Oriental. It's the classification. Bergamot, pink pepper, frankincense. Yang, 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 I just messed that up. Ylang Ylang de Camarose. <laughs> Rose de Gobert. De Go Rose de Bulgari. Jasmine, vanilla, benzoin, rum, and cedar. That's interesting. Okay. Did I show you the bottle? Oh, this is good. Now, I have not ever put my nose on the original Guerlain. But I have put my nose on dupes from many companies. So I know what it's supposed to smell like because every one that I've smelled have had this sort of scent. What, what's, what it's going to boil down to is how long it lasts, how well it projects. Because I've smelled a few. Um, there was one and I don't remember. It's a company that I don't, I'm not very familiar with. Um... It was so, it smelled so good, but it was so light it was gone, you know. Mm. Okay. I definitely smell the rum and vanilla. I mean, yeah, the rum and the vanilla. That's the first thing I'm getting. I would say the second thing I'm getting is the Rose de Bulgari. I'm probably butchering that. The vanilla is still there. The rum is still there. Mm. And it's and it and you can smell it it's, though. It's not. I'm having trouble with the the bergamot, the pink pepper, and the frankincense. That could be dry down. Cedar is very light. The, these fragrances are so well blended. Blended sometimes when you read the notes, you're like, "What? Where? Where is the cedar?" But I get it. But I'm getting the vanilla and the rum nicely. Man, that's good. That's real good. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm organizing these in my. Mm. Got one more. And the Belgian Choco Truffle. I'm going to spray that last. I can't wait to spray it because I know exactly what it smells like. Ow.
I could have used my scissors. It would have been easier on my nails, right? Casino Royale Nights. Okay, so I do not know what this smells like. I do know what, like I have scent memory. I know exactly what Casino Royale smells like. So let's find the night. Poseidon's Elixir. I think that's one I really... I need to go back to, to my um, samples, but I think that's one I really liked. I had a, a patch, really good patch to it. Okay. Casino Royale Night, $65. Am I even telling you the prices? I'll put it below, and I'll have the links below and everything else. So, most of these are around $55, $65. I think $65 is as high as they go, and I think they, they're, um, they're really, like... I want to say the expensive um, ingredients. Inspired by Maison Francis Cartagena Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight de Parfum. It was released in two, four, 2014. It became one of the most identifiable smells in just a few short years, paying homage to the centuries old crystal manufacturer that gives the fragrance its name. The blend was originally a limit, limited production release available only to the world's most exquisite collectors of the scent. Since then, a bottle of this treasured scent has found itself in the hands and on the skin of many. The extract version of this masterpiece serves to what, augment the luminosity and radiance of the original. For our inspired expression casino royale nights we have taken the concentration of the raw materials and we amp them up to create a longer lasting fragrance with a stronger olfact stronger olfactory presence the richness of the resins is more fiery than ever and the jasmine blossoms bloom ferociously as they contribute to the distinct smell of the perfume the accords created with the Warm and cold ingredients mimic the heating and cooling of the crystal gloss before it becomes a Baccarat masterpiece. Wear Casino Royale Nights for nights to remember. Classification Oriental Floral. Floral. Sorry. Floral. Notes. Oh boy. Grandiflorum Jasmine from Egypt. Saffron. Bitter Almond from Morocco. Resin. Cedar. Musk. And Ambergris. Or ambergris. Um, okay. When the reason that I have have trouble reading some of these, first of all, it's it's a lot of words I haven't read before. But I'm also taking this in my nose is trying to fill it out how it's supposed to smell, and a lot of times it doesn't smell how I think it's going to smell. So here we go. Let's see. I'm going to find a really good spot for this one. Because I will, the biggest thing with this one, with this is the bottle. In case I forgot to show you. For me, with this one, is I want to see how it smells, how much it smells like the 540. Okay, so right now I haven't even moved my arm. I'm already getting the 540. Like exactly what Baccarat Rouge 540 smells like. Let me look, let me read some through some of this and see. We have taken the concentration of raw materials and amped them up to create a longer lasting fragrance with a stronger stronger olfactory presence. Okay, first of all, let me tell you guys that that Baccarat Rouge 540 inspired expression lasts forever. So what puzzled me is how they're doing this stronger, I meant longer lasting. The richness of the resins is more fiery than ever, and the jasmine blossoms bloom ferociously. Okay. Well, this is what I can tell you about this one with me in the 540s. I like this one better. Definitely. There is a different scent. I like jasmine, so I'm thinking... That, but I'm, but I'm smelling something sweet. The almond, maybe? The resins? 
the richness of the resins. Definitely. I, I, I see what they're saying there. The jasmine blooms ferociously. Okay, and you know what? I just noticed. Remember in the video where I did the Baccarat Rouge 540, 540 where I said, I forgot the name of the other sample that I had that I said has that sharp, almost like nail polish pear in it. And I said that that note was in the Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't smell it in here and that's why I like it better. Oh my gosh, this is coming down for me. to now now these notes are so blended so i'm not getting it from the notes but i'm getting um almost a rose's musk like i have montal's rose's musk it doesn't smell like that it smells almost like if you combine 540 5, baccarat rouge 540 with Rose's Musk, but now Rose's Musk from Montal is a huge beast. I love it. It's not a beast in here, but if you sprayed lightly the 540 and the um, Rose's Musk, that's what this reminds me of. And I like this better than the 540, the Baccarat Rouge 540, for sure. For sure. That sharp note is gone, and that, um, I mean, that could have been a thing with a lot of people. It I loved it. The The scent is wonderful, but that sharp note's there. Um, there's 14 reviews on this one. This makes Maison shudder. <laughs> this is not only dead on in smell, but the longevity is way better. The power and the cloud of beauty you wear and the feel different and feel different also. Feels like all women walking by is breaking necks. Ha ha. Peeping out who is wearing this crazy juice. Y'all get on the website and read the reviews because I don't want to sit here all day and read those. But um, truly elegant and signature, signature scent worthy, blah, blah, blah. I'd never smell the original, but after smelling this, I don't really feel that I have to. Me neither. I've never smelled um, the original of the X Straight de Parfum. Okay. Somebody said just wow. I have been an MFK fan for almost a decade. Decade love his work and especially the this the extra this is my first dua purchase casino royale nights has a slightly different opening to me more citrus i i don't i'm not getting that so i mean everybody smells things different when it dried down it's almost impossible to tell the difference i'm not getting it i'm not getting it um citrus I do this and I read this and I smell it and I re-smell it so that I can tell you guys what I think okay um get off of there jasmine saffron almond cedar musk this is just good my initial scent from far away was the baccarat rouge 540 now I don't get that now I get something that's more of what, okay, in my mind, 540 should have been, maybe. This is good. I like this a lot, and I like it a lot better than the 540, and I'm not trying to knock the 540. It's just that um, whatever, that pear note or whatever in there was just not, kind of like not my thing. And that musky, it's probably a musky jasmine, but I'm saying musky, like roses musk in here. Is my thing. I have several bottles of the Montal Roses Musk. Um, I'm trying to find something that's missing a lid. Okay. I apologize for me not being able to speak properly and say these words properly. Okay, here's my Belgian Chocolate Truffle. Here we go. <laughs> I was waiting on that. Oh my god. I smell good. All right, number one spot. I, this is going to be quick. I, I just want to make sure I'm getting, I've got the right name for the right scent. There, There's not, oh my God. There is not one thing in here that's bad and this is going to be hard. 
Italiano, $65. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Sorry, slow. But I'm trying to be thorough. Vanilla Overload is 55. Italiano is 65. Pumpkin Spice is 55. There is one called Superior Amber I have not smelled is 60. Uh, I have not smelled Collateral Damage is 55. Aphrodisiac, I'd love to smell that one, is 55. I'm going to order Taboo. My son said that's coming back this month. I'm going to get on here now and see if it's back i'll go ahead and order it um crater seems like i liked crater and poseidon 2.0 anyway so you you get the gist of it they do have sales they have 15 percent off a lot they have 25 percent off sometimes keep an eye on that and they have a website where you can order sample good size samples you guys saw the samples last year a couple weeks i mean if you want to See if you're going to get sick of it or not. I get sick of a few perfumes. Not very many. I need to make this a little bit faster. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to link everything down below. That was just my first initial reaction. If you guys want a follow-up video after I've worn these for a couple weeks, let me know down below. Like this video. Um, and that will let me know. And I can keep these six out and tell you what I think. But I can already tell you. I've had Belgian taco truffle for a couple weeks now because I had the sample. I freaking love this and I am absolutely dying to get my hands on a bottle, a full bottle of the Taboo. I'll say that. All right, second place, Italiano. Hmm. That's good. Ah. I'm sorry, y'all, this is hard. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's say third is pop cherry. But I'm gonna tell you right now, these tie for second, okay? <laughs> um, and these tie, I'm gonna say these tie for third because I just they're all good, you guys. I can't Casino Royale Nights and Vanilla Overload. And, um, God. I can't do, like, a fifth and sixth place because there's not one. And then I would say, this is so good, you guys. This is so good, and I hate for it to fall in last, the pumpkin spice. It's not last for me. It's just last out of six wonderful-smelling fragrances that are all gourmandish and muskyish to me and I freaking love them all but this does not make this bad if I did not like it or if it had some kind of weird note in it I would tell you but it's an all spice pumpkin-y okay so if you I'm gonna tell you this right now if you like Toffee, sweet, caramelly, go for the Italiano. And if, but if you like more spice, go for the pumpkin spice because they're both good. But these are two different scents. That's the best I can do for right now. Because, but if you want me to come back with these six in a couple weeks and let you know how I've worn them, how they've lasted, and everything, let me know. Please comment down below. I will be feeling filling this in tonight. It's going to take me a while. The way I do mine, I can't do anything until it's loaded. So when my videos first load, there's no information, okay? But it's coming. Like, I'm going to sit down and put the information down below. So it is doafragrances.com. And there is a site I will link right after that where you can order samples. I appreciate this beyond beyond what you would ever imagine because I love these and I, they will be getting a lot of love this week. I'm so excited. I love these. Okay, so thank you for subscribing. If you have not, please thumbs up. Let me know if you want a follow-up video. I don't, I don't want to do repetitive if you don't want repetitive. You guys have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye!